Hey, hello to everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I almost forgot I wanted to do this video just to touch on uh, various life skill, uh, life skills that we should be teaching our children. It doesn't matter how young they are, they should, you know, have various skills and know how to uh, do things, do things around the house. They should have um uh, you know, and then again, we should be encouraging them, um, you know, well, let me start. Okay, so do things around the house as well as have uh, various crafting skills. There was a time when we used to sew, we did needlepoint, we crocheted, um, and we um, knitted. Um, there was many, um, you know, we did puzzles, we played games, we... Um, you know, baked um, from scratch, not boxes. <laughs> you know, um, we gardened, uh, picked flowers. We ate from our garden. We we foraged. Um, although a lot of these things are coming back, but they're not coming back very strongly. Well, they are, but some people they don't they don't have a clue uh, about these things. Uh, we knew how to woodwork we knew how to you know put metal things together people knew how to change tires they knew how to fix cars i mean they painted painted their home you know there was just so many things people were just i don't want to say crafty but that's really not the word but people were skilled and and they uh, at their crafts and they you know they knew these things and and it was just commonplace but now it's not i mean young people they don't know all of these things and it's really a shame uh that they don't but i would just i just want to encourage us to be sure that we are uh, teaching our children uh, these things. There are, are if you, you, you know, and, and not that you know it yourself uh, to teach them now things around the house, you know, yeah. And then also when I say things around the house, I mean how to maintain things as well. If a screw falls out of something or if something is loose in the house, you know, on a piece of furniture or a shelf, whatever, learn how to get, because I'm going to, one day I've been saying this forever. Actually, I did do one, but I never published it. But showing my toolbox, how I, what I keep in my toolbox, how to maintain my toolbox, blah 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 blah. Uh, because it's really important that everybody has a toolbox in their home, and what to do with the tools, which tool is for what, and how to utilize it. Because, like I was saying, things need to be maintained around the house. You can't just, you know, your 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 door, your screen door is uh, is loose. You know, the, the screws are loose in it and stuff. You know, all you have to do is screw that in and, and make that look nice again. Just letting it hang off and, and everything. That's real sloppy and it's, it's trifling, you know. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> but it's not a good look, you know, and it's something that we could do on our own. I don't care if you're renting or you own your place because a lot of people say, eh, that's my landlord. Uh, child, uh, you're living in a house. You can <laughs> take care of things. You don't have to call a landlord for every everything. You know what I mean? You don't have to call a landlord for everything. You get you a, a plunger. You know, you get you a few things, and you take care of things on your own. You know, it don't matter that they are the owner. You're living in the place, and you should want it maintained. Uh, t you know, perfectly and excellently, uh, excellency, uh, and excellently <laughs> you're living there you you want it to be safe your your children are there your family is there you know you want it to be clean and sanitary and you know and all of that uh you want a place you can be proud of you so you sometimes have to put the work in you might have to put a coat of paint on on the wall or or whatever you have to go out in your yard and clean up uh, the you know the debris that has flown into your yard or whatever or whoever threw something down you have to do that and there's nothing wrong with that at all you know uh, you know you and your children you go out or when you see things on the ground pick it up you know just pick it up and put it in the garbage you know have you a little trash bin a little tiny trash bin with a liner inside of it so that you know when when it gets uh full you just you guys just 
pick it pick it up put it in the, out in the trash bin and 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 put another liner in there and keep going keep that going keep your your common or public hallways clean you know sweep them vacuum them wash your windows there's so many things that could be done and that we could be teaching our children how to maintain uh things but you know so uh, you know, so let's be sure that we are doing that. I know I've skipped all over the place. You got to forgive me because I've been meaning to make this video and it just dawned on me again. So I said, let me just pop in. But yeah, so, but you know, sometimes, you know, so those are just some things you could start with, um, you know, because these things start at home. You know, you see people, because sometimes I see people, they'll throw stuff out their car or they just walk in and they just throw stuff, you know, like trash, like they're eating something, you know, some snack or whatever. And they just throw stuff on the ground. They just let it fly. And it's like, what do you, where do you think that's going? I mean, what do you think is going to happen to that? And with no thought, they have. <laughs> with no thought, they have. Okay. It's like, what is... What is really happening here? I cringe if I, I... I can't throw stuff down. I mean, just trash, you know, in the street or in the style. You know, I can't just do that. It's just... It's not in me or whatever. But, um, so, yeah, we could, you know, be teaching those particular, you know, uh, responsibilities because it's, it's something, you know, you're being responsible for... Uh, your part in your place in the world. But again, there are some, some things you don't know, but there are classes, there are little, you know, free little courses, things that are at your library, things that are at little community centers. You know, there are people in your neighborhood, you know, neighbors or whatever, who may know these things that you can hook your, you know, children up with. Um, then uh, there are uh, books, you know, from the library. There are videos from the library. There are videos on YouTube. I mean, there's just so many ways that we can learn uh, these things and through prayer. You know, always, you know, uh, start with prayer and God will put those things in our place in order for us to have a skill because it's really, really important. Uh, especially now, it, if I mean, if the if the pandemic hasn't taught you anything, uh, has taught you anything, it should have taught you that sometimes things are not going to be accessible or right at our fingertips, you know. And we have to do things for ourselves, you know. You can't call. You might not be able to call in a handy person or. Uh, a contractor or you might not be able to have this particular food but if you grow it yourself or if you have already purchased it you could preserve it you can can it can it because all the food you know that you may have you, you might not be able you know it might not always be grown by you you might have to get it from a grocer or a farmer's market or wherever uh, you get it from, but you can preserve it yourself. You can dehydrate it. You could, uh, f you know, cook it and freeze it. You could uh, can it, you know, by uh, either, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, boy, what do you call it? Well, you know, it's two sorts, two, two ways to can things, um, even three, actually, because there's a steam, a steam canner, pressure canning, and then you got your... Um, Oh, boy, what's the regular one? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, there's just many ways that you could preserve your, you know, things because, because you know, things are not always going to be accessible. I know people are out here with these scare tactics, excuse me, scare tactics, saying that food's not going to be, you know, they're scarce, this, that, and the other. To some, some degree, that's true because sometimes things are not going to be available or accessible, you know, or you might not, you might not have... Uh, the opportunity to get to this place or that. I mean, there's just so many variables. So you must know how to do these things for yourself. You can't rely on the government or stores to help you or to, to always have something in. There, there was a day the stores didn't have all the stuff that, that we have now. These, these things weren't even available in a store. <laughs> 
because so many things weren't even available in the store. You had to get them from your own farm or or something like that. But nonetheless, um, so, you know, gardening is important. Uh, if you want to raise animals, you know, start with you a chicken, uh, with some chickens or something like that, and move to, you know, goats or, you know, you know, some small other uh, animals that could, you know, give you meat uh, or, um, you know, something like that. But yeah, so yeah, I just want to encourage that, you know, uh, like I said, no child is too small. Let them be in the kitchen with you. Teach them, ch- teach them, you know, kitchen safety. Teach them how to bake foods, how to make foods, put things together. Because again, sometimes there might be times when you cannot order in or or you might not have, uh, you know, something, but you got a, a can of this and a, a, a can of that. Teach them how to throw something together, uh, just a nutritious meal, uh, you know, or something like that. Um, you know, just something, it's just something basic and simple, but, you know, the people, people know, need to know how to, you know, children, people, everyone need to know how to put something together and, you know, make, uh, what seasonings to use and make something just delicious or whatever. I mean, you know, because uh, we don't know what's going to happen or we don't know, you know, uh, how things are going to go. Uh, you know, again, I don't want to. I don't want to use scare tactics like some people are really going out there. But what I'm saying is we do need to be prepared and you can't just you can't rely on a system uh, to help you. You got to put your own things together and know how to do something. OK, know how to cut some wood or, uh, or, you know, how to forage and you just there's just a lot to learn. And, you know, and then, you know, like I said, just, you know, start your children off with some something, a few things and show them some interesting things and give them books and, you know, and library books. They don't have to be books that you purchase or not even just library books. A lot of like I told you, we're in a lot of Facebook groups. A lot of Facebook uh, groups, a lot of people, they offer books for children or, you know, books on very interesting topics and things of that nature. And we have little li- uh, 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 little libraries just all around. People just throw, when I say throw, put books in there and they're just free for the taking. You, if you got any books to, to put in there, put them in there. If you don't, just take what you, you know, would like to take. And then when you're done with it, you might want to put it back in there for somebody else or whatever. Uh, we, or build your own home library. I think it's really important that children have, not just children, but the home has um, libraries. My children, my grandchildren, even right now, my I, I do have a library here for my grandchildren. It has encyclopedias in them and things of that nature. All kinds of interesting topics that they can learn from. Of course, they also have fun books and and entertaining books and stuff like that. But it's important that they have, uh, you know, a well-rounded uh, library. I also have a few libraries of my own. I have an academic library. I have my library for spiritual growth and as well as health, you know, things of that nature. So it's just really important to have, you know, a few books on hand that you can refer to. Uh, and I have my gardening books, of course, my knitting books, <laughs> and my cookbooks, you know. So, you know, it's really important to have a few things. You don't have to have a million but, you know, just a few, just so, you know, to start you off, that's really informative um, and whatnot. So, anyway, I've talked long enough. I think we get the gist of teaching our children various life skills. You know, don't just have them in the house useless, playing games all day or watching TV and all of that stuff. You know, make sure they can get outside and into the fresh air and stuff like that and play and run and you know whatever so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go hope as always that something was said here that was informative for us you know don't let don't let the 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 the, uh all of our uh you know good things be lost 
in the wind. We need to pick up these skills again and utilize them all to the glory of God. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.